good morning, good evening, good afternoon. What is going on? How's everybody doing? Wherever you may be in this wonderful world of Oz, here he is a wonderful whiz. If ever a whiz there was. <laughs> What's going on? Alright. Looks like we got everybody all up and running. We're on Twitch. We're on YouTube. We're on the Book of Faces. And I think we are good to go. Alright. So, um, we are doing something a little bit different. Um, starting with last round. Um, we are sculpting our own STL. Um, and we're at the end of this particular project. Uh, we are going to be giving out um, this STL to anybody who is on the newsletter for um, our new studio, Clinker Built Studio. Clinker Built Studio is a um, sculpting, building, and painting um, minis, models, and kits for people's collections. Um, so if you want to check out our new site. This is uh, some of our info, our new Clinker Built Studio website. Um, so check it out. I'm always up for feedback. So if you got some feedback, let us know. Um, we do have a live Etsy store for with some of our uh, some of our models that we have painted. Right now it's mostly just Warhammer stuff. Um, and these are all... I know the, the camera's pretty terrible here but uh, I'll get some if you go to the uh, website there's much much better photos of, of the stuff that's up right now and some of the um, stuff that we're working on currently so yeah so what we're doing um, last stream is we are building a um, it's not a standard millimeter size mini this one is more of a kind of larger size I'm actually thinking something about this size this size, something like that. Uh, this is actually from um, um, another set. It's like a, um, I don't know what set it was from. It was like a environment set. <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna be doing this dude. Uh, he's a servitor. If anybody knows Warhammer Forty Thousand, uh, there's servitors left and right. It's very um, like here's some of the the artwork from around the the interwebs um, that that is very iconic of Warhammer 40,000. So we're going to kind of do our own version, and then uh, we're going to give that STL away to my lovely fans, the people, the peoples. Uh, so if you'd like to, uh, sign up for our, our newsletter on our website, and you can be on that list. Yeah, yeah. How is this channel still called Pixel Logic? Um, well, that's because things are in flux at the moment. Uh, yeah, I still know them as Pixel Logic, even though they're a Max on now. Um, okay, uh, let me give one more link real quick before we get started. So here is um, if you'd like to be on the list for the STL and. Um, Sign up for our newsletter. You can keep up to date with all the awesome stuff that we're doing right now. Um, yeah. All right. So last time, if you want to go back and watch this from the beginning, you can go to the um, ZBrushLive.com uh, and find my page, and the replay should be there. Or if you want to browse through the Pixelogic um, YouTube page, there's uh, many other amazing artists that are doing work there, too. But... This one um, is the second round. Darken, what's up, man? Everybody else, how's everybody else doing? Yeah, I, cho I chose the finally chose the the logo design that I wanted. I want to go with something a little bit more kind of um, vintage, I guess you could say. Oh yeah, we also did. Um, this guy is up on. He's not up on the website yet, but this is the. Um, the Lancer STL from um, Chaos Masons that we painted up as well. 
uh, if you want to go to our Instagram, there's um, there's much better photos of this dude on the Instagram. But that guy was a lot of fun. All right, let's let's Rolioski. So some of the things that um, I was playing around with off stream was uh, doing a little bit more of the um, the curve brushes. So I made a couple. Um, and then we can kind of go in and decide what we want to do. These ones are just standard ones that came with um, came with ZBrush. So let's let's get into it. Getting ready to move Portugal next month. You got your farm now. Nice. Nice. Portugal, huh? Yeah. Definitely new adventures, man. Well, keep us up to date, dude. All right, um, so let's get rid of these dudes. Those are just kind of temporary playing. And one of the things about um, one of these things about servitors is none of them have a jaw, uh, none of them. So we definitely got to kick the jaw out. And I was actually playing around with the idea of doing a inquisitor um, insignia on the on the forehead. That might be kind of cool. So let, first things, let's let's kick the jaw out of here, and let's kick the bottom teeth out of here. There we go. That's feeling a little bit better. Um, another one of the things that's really prevalent on a lot of these are, um, like here, is, you can see this, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, we've got kind of like this this main vacuum hose thing, but then we have like this, this other one that kind of wraps around it a little bit. So I'll play around with that a little bit, see if I can get something similar figure out how to do some of those stuff so uh, this was my first attempt nope, not that one. this one which kind of works um, it's a little bit flimsy when it comes down to these shapes in here uh, but uh, again it's just a one of the ways one of the first attempts there um, so what I did was I made a couple of pieces here uh, for for brushes so let's just so there's this one um, this one which is just tripled uh, let's see I made this is the this is the one that actually made this here so basically just took a cylinder right like that and then I, I create another cylinder right next to it so what that did was, um, let's go to the brushes, um, and I could just create this again because I don't think, oh, it did save it. Here we go. This is this one? But we can do it again uh, if you want, um, and we can show you how, show you how I did it. It's just, it's the basic, just making um, a curved brush. So uh, we could do. Let's just make it again here, and I'll show you how I show you how I did it. So let's go to, let's turn off perspective here. All right, and let's say that this is the thing that I want repeated across a, um, you know, like that, basically. That's the idea that I want. So I could just take this, hit create, hit create insert mesh, and let's do a new one here. All right, so that's that's this one here. So it's a new one. Uh, and then now what I can do is, um, I've also created this one, which is which is basically just, uh, this one here minus um, a little uh, live boolean action. So that's this one. So we'll do that one. So well, the same one. We'll hit create again, and then this time we're going to do append, right? And now you have two different ones here. Right? And then maybe we can go to this one. Let's hit create and append. Now we got three in there, and then we'll do this one just for just for giggles here and see if that one works at all. It probably won't. There'll probably be too much stretching and stuff. Uh, so let's append that one. Okay, let's just see what these look like. Okay, so right now it's just an insert brush. So now we have to go to um, curve. Nope, sorry, stroke. Curve, curve mode. All right, and then Let's go up to the brush and we'll go to modifiers. We're going to take it off triparts. We'll do weld points, increase the curve resolution. And now we should have something like this. 
Now we got a brush. Oh, snappers. Sorry, my, my daughter doesn't want to go to the restroom right now. She's yelling in the in the background, if you can hear it. <laughs> um, so one of the things that uh, we want to be a little bit careful of is um, snapping things. So one of the one of the things that I try to do makes things a lot easier is um, I'll just create a plane. Let's turn these guys off. Where is that plane? There it is. Um, and then what I can do is I'll just draw it along this plane and it, or reorientate the plane to where I want it to. And then I can just draw it that way. Okay, and then I can just use Ghost. Um, which is in transform, transparency with ghosting. And then now I can just go whoosh. Maybe I just want, maybe I want two curves, like a nice little S curve. All right, and then, uh, then what I can do is come in here and maybe just, because it's on one plane right now, I don't necessarily want it on one plane. So what I'll do is I'll just come in and Let's go down to the stroke and we do um, then start, then end, and I think liquid is what I want. All right, so then I'll just I'll just grab and add one more little kind of bend in it so it's more three dimensional, like that. All right, I don't want to keep it. I don't want to make it too complicated. All right, and then let's just finish that, and then we'll do split unmasked. Cool. Then what I can do is I can come in with my move topological, and I can just break this up ever so slightly. So that we can get some a little bit more variation in there. We'll just do little nudges here and there so things don't get kind of whacked out of control here. And I could even split all of these up as well. But let's see what that looks like. And then maybe we'll just try to get a different rotation in here just to see if we can get some interesting some interesting shapes happening you know, all this stuff is going to be tucked under here Maybe we can actually make that a little bit bigger. All right, so that's that's one possibility. Is doing some stuff like that, and then actually, you know what? Why don't we do this? Let's do auto groups. Let's do move, and then control, control, click, and then. Just put this up here. Maybe we'll break that up even more and just go. Or we could just do it this way. Or what we could do is just flip it upside down. So that's a nice thing is you could get all kinds of um, really different looks out of it. 
with just one curve. I do have a, a, a bit of a cold, so if I'm sniffling in your guys' ears, I apologize. Maybe that goes through that. That could be cool. You know, we could add some action lines, too. You know, maybe he's not just straight up and down. Maybe he's got, you know, a lot of this kind of coming this way. Yeah, we got this nice wind action or, or at least some movement feel, right? That might be kind of cool. And then maybe what we could do with this one as well, let's do split unmasked. Let's go to this one here. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll actually make this one a little bit shorter. Okay, let's go. Like that. What's up, Emma? Yep, we just started. literally just started so maybe instead of deleting that one what I can do is just split that one grab that one and make a shorter version of that one up here so even with just with one one little um, curve that we made we can get all kinds of crazy cool stuff going on Yeah, maybe we'll do the transpose trick here uh, that I learned from Nacho. Uh, this one's really awesome. I love I love this trick uh, with the old transpose. So let's isolate real quick. What I want to do is I want to bend this up just a little bit. So how do you do that, right? So you could just kind of try to use the move tool, but you're just going to make it all kind of whack. So if we use the transpose tool, so we go hit Y. That's the old transpose tool. And then I'm going to draw this from one side to the other here. And then what I'm going to do is going to turn it to the side. Actually, you know what? Um, let's, let's move that to about here. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to pull this one off until the middle is about at the end here. And then we're going to hold control. Oops, not control. Yeah, it still kind of squishes it, which isn't really going to work. So instead, that actually isn't going to work. Um, what I'll do is, let's go back to the gizmo. All right, so that one didn't work. And this is why you watch people live. You see what works and what doesn't. This one's just easy. So what I could do instead is, why don't we just use a uh, Ben curve? A Ben curve? Who the hell's Ben? Get it? Yeah, that's probably good enough. All right, so uh, what we'll do is we'll use, go into the gizmo here. Transform type is bend curve. And then we'll do that across this here. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll just go boop. So this one gives you a little bit better control. And maybe we'll just kind of pull that in one extra axis here. Something like that, cool. That works. Don't forget about these. These are all <laughs> freaking awesome. So just hit accept. Okay, cool, good. And then now we got this bad boy. All right, I'll see how that looks. All right, we're starting to get some some interesting things here. 
So my goal is uh, with this particular one is to make something presentable and like a nice design first and then worry about um, the 3D production woes later. All right, so let's let's talk about how we did this one here. So let's go back to our brushes, right? And then I'm just going to grab this one. Okay, and let's go back to our handy dandy plane. Let's make it nice and a little bit longer. Cool. So now, so we did this one. So maybe this time we'll we'll do that. Okay. So what do you do from here? Well, first off, we need to change the size quite a bit. All right, and then we need to go back into turn tri parts off, hit weld points. Let's go into the stroke. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay. Now it's all connected. So uh, I think it's still a little bit too big still. There we go. And now we're still getting this weirdness happening, which is what I don't want. So I want to, I want to do stretch. I think stretch is the one, yep. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So then, here we go. And then maybe we'll just pull this one off as well. We want to do max resolution here. Oops. This one may be a bit much, but we'll just try it. Try it. All right. So then um, one of the things that you can do is when you grab this, if you hold down, um, I think it's alt. No. Yeah. Uh, it's control. You can twist this around a little bit. So if we do it in the right area, we can start to get this um, secondary little pipe scrolling around the other side right we can start getting it to twist around the other side um, so yeah this so the question is are you only making miniatures or are you making larger stuff as well this one I'm 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 actually more often making larger things like more collectible size stuff um, than I am actual miniatures so this one is going to be full size it'll probably be about, I don't know, maybe four or five inches tall, something like that. See that? About. Quish. Quish, quish. I quish your head, quish. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it'll be more collectible size. All right, so we're going to grab this one, hold down control. And see if we can get this to start rotating around. Grab this, hit control. The the trick to it is you grab it first, and then you hit control and move left and right. Grab it, hit control, move. Now you got to be careful that it doesn't start kind of making all of these shapes a little bit wackadoo. So you got to be a little bit more conserved conservative. What's up, Batman? So you can um, grab it again and just kind of do your thing here. Let's say that's good for now. 
Um, so we're going to alt click off of it and that will complete the curve and delete it. And then we'll do split unmasked points. So we'll turn this dude off, head down to this guy. And then now we can come in with our move topological brush and just go Alright, and we can just make some imp interesting shapes as these kind of interact and kind of twirl around each other. Um, shortcut for focusing the camera. Yeah, I think it's in transform. It's, uh, uh, where is it? Oh, do, 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 do. local right here. Transform local. I think that's it. Is that the one you're looking for? All right, so let's see what we can get with this guy. Be kind of cool to get this thing snaking around some of the other ones. Just play around with some positions and see what kind of what works and what doesn't. Maybe this one sticks that way like this. All right, so now we got to start talking about what we do with the bottom pieces here. So I think um, we're going to build, we're going to build um, some bottom pieces, like a little, a little uh, insert brush that we can put different attachments on these down here. Oh, let's turn on perspective too. There you go. So this is um, pretty much the same thing that I did uh, for this guy up here. I just used uh, a curve, drew it on there, and then before the curve was done, I just pulled this off. So it's super duper easy. That was actually brush, um, brush curve, brush curve tube snap is actually that one right there. Uh, and then what I did for these little deuter bobs, um, it was just I just appended a a cylinder and just put those on there like that. Actually, what I want to do is let's take that same cylinder. We're gonna control click, control alt move, and then I'm gonna do split unmasked points. Move down one subtool, give it a new poly group, and then uh, we're going to use that same one for these dudes. These little deuter bobs. Deuter bobs is, I think, the uh, the name of the day. Doohickeys have already been done, but I think deuter bobs are, I think, could work fairly well. I am a big fan of doohickeys, though. Do hicker bobs? <laughs> you like the squish squish? Yeah, anybody remember that? That was from um, wasn't that Kids in the Hall from like way back in the day? Kids in the Hall, squish squish. I squish your head. <laughs> I appreciate the follows, man. That was a little like, wasn't that on MTV? I think um. Kids in the Hall was on MTV back in the day. Okay, where is this? Where's another one of these? Maybe, maybe here? Let's see. The question is, can I get it? Can I get it? What, what? Can I 
get this a little bit closer to work there. Yes, I think I can. All right, so let's do this one. We are going to do Control Alt and just drag, and that will give me a duplicate of that particular one in the same sub tool. Carmody Central, that's what it was, you're right. Oh, those are the good old times. That was like post in living color days. How you living? What? How you living? We had good old Fire Marshal Bill. Let me tell you something! <laughs> oh, God, those are good old days. Back when she was just Jenny from the block. Yes. What's up, Harry Mandibles? This is a servitor. We are going we are making a um more collectible size servitor for print. Okay, let's do control W. Sorry for sniffling in your earballs. So I think what I want to do here's 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 what I'm thinking. You're like, all right, well, how's this gonna, how the hell is this gonna stand? I really really hate when like you have those like clear plastic little like stands for things. It just doesn't look right. So I think if you plan it correctly, you can actually do some cool stuff. So what if we had? All right, let's get um, let's get let's get let's get a base in here first. Okay. Uh, so let's append. Let's pen a cylinder. Grab this doohickey. No, th what I call it? Thing about thing about Bob? No. Um, do uh, not a doodad. It was a uh, do or a doohickey. It was a. Oh my god! I'm not even. I'm already forgetting my own terminology. Duder Bob. That was it. Duder Bob. Can somebody write that in chat for me so I remember it? That was doohickey's already been used. So has um, bacon hickey, or do do bacon, <laughs> Duder Bob. Somebody spell that for me. I don't even know how to spell that. Um, all right, so we're gonna let's get rid of these guys real quick, and we're gonna make a little base. No stand required. It should hang suspended from the air. Off the chinny chin chin, <laughs> that could be it too. You know, um, yeah, these this did uh this is uh from I forgot which kit it's from, but this guy kind of hangs from the air like this. <laughs> Sorry, this one. <laughs> I'm all oh you can see it, uh, not like this. You kind of like hangs from uh a little thing in the jig, but I think I have something better. What I really really loved was uh the these dudes, these Duder Bobs uh, from the Matrix, and the way they kind of like moved around, and they, like, they put like their hands on things to like stable themselves. Uh, what you call it? That is a candy bar. Who remembers that song? What you call it? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of giving him like some arms that like hold on to something that's in the little scene, right? So. If we have something like this, and maybe he's he's actually a little bit bigger than that, All right? And then the, we're just gonna sketch this out real quick, so it'll it'll look super dopey and crappy, but um, it is what it is. So what if we what if we take something and we go? Yeah, maybe we got something over here. that like, you know, some like a rock formation or, or something like that, like, you know, some kind of rocky rocks or something like this, you know, something to help frame him as well. So maybe we'll have it come around this way a little bit. No. You know, what like rocks do. And then he's got like one of these uh, deuterbobs. Uh, let's duplicate this guy real quick. And then instead of it going over here, it's actually going 
like you know maybe it'd be thicker than that but like he's actually has a, a claw that is resting on you know whatever whatever this thing of a jig is This one's not good because it's got a lot of um, twisty turns in it, but the idea being that he has like this, uh, you know, he's got a claw on this side and it's actually like hanging on to this particular thing. And like all this stuff is kind of like floating over here, but then maybe he has like another one of these claws. You know, just kind of. You know, hanging out over here. So he's like, he's actually holding on to something with part of him and then floating over here with another part with the rest of him. And production wise, this is where, um, you know, he could be anchored into something that he's actually floating, right? So you don't have to have like some of those, one of those dumb little stands in here that kind of break up um, the cool factor, right? You know, and then maybe we can, um, you know, maybe we've got some other things to help frame him in here and create like a little scene. You know, you got some, some I beams or something like that. Some, Right, and then maybe one of his other, um, you know, one of his other claws are like holding on to this thing. So he's still floating, but like he has, um, he has very like obviously placed arms on that hold on to something, so that when we print him, um, he can actually just glue right to those pieces or something. And maybe this guy is. Um, let's go, let's turn that off, let's go to, uh, let's zero mesh this guy real quick. I hate this. Why do they do that? It's so dumb. It's not dumb. It's just how they did it. Uh, let's do, uh, zero mesher and we're going to do detect edges. We'll do this 20 by 20 cause that's what I like and we'll do same zero mesh. There we go. Much, much better. Cool, cool, cool. See, why can't they just do it like that? Um, and then what we can do is say, key mesh, uh, let's do poly loop. And then let's just pull these in like this. And then we'll just tap once, tap once. Like that. So maybe we got like these little beams down here. And then he's got this claw thing in the jig. So this is really cool. I don't know if you guys use the pizza boxes at all, uh, but I use it all the time. So right now I don't necessarily want to go and find this little piece and this little piece and combine it with this one. I just want to move something real quick. So uh, I use the pizza boxes and then use my drag select. And then I just um, let go of the ones that I don't want. I don't want that one. I do want these ones, and I don't want this one. I don't want that one. All right, and then I'll just move it. Okay, cool. I need to deselect those guys. Cool. And maybe we'll just grab this guy, and we'll go. You know, maybe maybe this one has like a whole claw, like resting on that one. So I turn the pizza boxes off. Right. So th this is the idea that I have, which is, you know, hey, let's let's uh, let's make him float still, but do it in a way where it's structurally sound. And I don't have to make one of those super dumb see through plastic pieces to make him float. That's the idea. And then we can kind of give him a little scene. Um, and then, you know, when we when we are actually painting him, we have a chance to add a uh, base material, right? So we could put rocks and little grass tufts and stuff in here. 
Let's do this real quick and make it look more like a base. So I'm just going to go... I'm going to select those guys. And then we'll make sure that that's at the middle. And then just size that up real quick. Looks a little bit more like um, a base. And then maybe we can just add a quick bevel. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go back to... Z modeler brush. We're going to edge actions bevel. Let's do edge loop complete and then we'll just add a quick little bevel. Touch once and then I'll add the same bevel to that. Cool. Look, it's a base. All about that. Uh, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and increase edge loop complete. So let's do that one and then let's do that one and that one, and that one. And then what we'll do is we'll turn on um, dynamic subdivision. I just use shift D for that. And then I would get a quick set dynamic subdiv on that. Dope. Uh, and then we want to get super, we'll grab the clip brush and we'll just go clip. All right, so that's the idea. Which I, actually, it feels much, much better now, and, it's, and now you can kind of get this whole, you know, um, kind of like movement feel to it because now you have you're you're not worried about uh, structurally anymore. Um, you can kind of make things floaty floaty, and then work on your overall design and feel and everything. So what we could do is just say, let's bring our pizza boxes back. <clears throat> let's. Make sure that we have select, and we're just going to select all this stuff, and this stuff, and then we're going to deselect this stuff, deselect all that stuff. And maybe I just want to play around with, you know, what if we, we moved them off center a little bit, right? I'm not ready to do that, but that's the idea, is we can we can kind of get those cool things happening. Clear mask. Cool. Um, so if you've just joined us, let me um, redo the, the, the blurb again real quick, is uh, we are working on a, a printable STL version of a Warhammer 40,000 servo skull. Um, we are it's it's going to be not mini size but more collectible size so probably about maybe four inches something like that um and we are we're going to probably give this away Pro not probably but yeah we're going to give this stl away when we're done with it and share with you guys um in order to be on that list uh we just ask that you sign up for the clinker built studio newsletter so if you go and check out our website and sign up for our newsletter you can keep up to date with us and what we're doing and uh, we will get you on that list um, if you want to follow us uh, in the media webs uh, here's our website and our Etsy shop uh, Instagram and Twitter we, I, we don't really do Twitter too much it's more Instagram stuff so up to you, whichever ones you like. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, so far, we're only about three hours into this one. So if you want to go back and watch the beginning one, uh, you can go to zbrushlive.com, find my name, Brennan Isaiah Bankston, and uh, look for the replay there. Okay, that wasn't so bad, right? Was, I'm, I'm starting to get a little quicker at that stuff. <laughs> um, all right, so... Let's uh, let's get rid of these guys. Um, maybe we'll just uh, do the whole like this is the base kind of thing. Let's grab this to do a new folder. Let's say this is our base stuff. All about. What's up, Remna? How you doing? All about the, let's see this one, okay, cool.
Let me just turn that off. Hey, hey, you need to go in here. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, now we can get back to the to the thing. So I, I kind of like this position better for that one anyways. So I know, whoa, thanks, Harry. Harry. Uh, so then let's get rid of this dude. We don't want that guy. This one is a little too redundant. So we get the idea of what we're going to try to do. So there's a couple of things that we want to do next. One is uh, um, we need to make some little like mandible things, like little arms and stuff coming off of here. Uh, so that we can start playing around with different um, weights, you know. So we could, uh, it's it's really like you have kind of like these big, uh, thick tendrils happening. You've got a, a thicker one here, and now you have kind of these little thin ones. But we need some more kind of like little mechanical arms coming off here to just give a little bit more balance to large, medium, and then small shapes. Uh, so we need to have some little arms and stuff, little kind of arms um, we do have to make them big enough to be able to print uh, so that's to be determined on how we're gonna do that uh, the other thing we want to do is give the bottoms of these some different types of attachments so I think what we're gonna do is work on the arms first so I'm looking at um, some of the some of the shapes that uh, Gears uh, Games Workshop makes, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna start with some of those shapes, so I'm not kind of building things from the ground up, and we're keeping things shape language consistent. Um, I think that's a, that's an important thing to do. So if you see, I don't know if you can see this real well or not, but he's got kind of these. Let's see if I can get him in there. These little guys, little claw crab thingamajiggers. So I think I'm going to go into um, start just making one of these and we'll kind of go from there. So we're going to do this live. I've never made one of these before. So we're going to we're going to do the thing. All right. So I think if we start with some Let's start with some cylinders. I think cylinders are the best way to go. So let's grab a, a cylinder. Let's turn off perspective. I'm going to build them out to the side first. I'm going to build them this way. Or do I want to build them this, this way? If I build them this way, I can use um, X as the... Um, Symmetry. Do we want to do it that way? Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. Uh, and then we can use the stager too. Um, I don't know if you guys use the stager at all, but the stager is really cool. Uh, first thing I think I want to use this one's okay. Yeah, this one's this one's good. Let's go in and. Oops. Let's do insert, single edge loop, and then I'm just going to delete these guys. Start. Start anew. Okay. So something like this. This is a good place to start. <clears throat> All right. Um... All right, so we're going to start. So this is our first little piece here. All right, and then let's duplicate this guy. Ooh, excuse me. We'll get him, maybe offset him here like so. So we're going to make a, a small one coming down here first, and then we'll go uh, bigger over there. So I think what I'm going to do is just work with masking and moving so what i'm going to do is just grab those dudes and then just go boop like that okay 
Let's make this a little bit thinner. Actually, what I want to do is instead of doing just grabbing that first, I think what I want to do is just uh, do the same thing, but grab them from in here. So I'm going to do insert edge loop. Uh, I'm going to make a couple, uh, two edge loops is what I want to do. But instead of just placing them by hand and kind of guessing um, this distance from this distance, I can go in and do multiple edge loops. And then if I click and drag like this, then I know I have exactly that. All right, so let's grab... Don't need that one. I don't need that one. Cool. That's what I want right there. So I'm going to grab these and say those are the ones I want. Then I'll come over here and mask those guys off. Mask those guys off. And then now I can pull this. Boop. Actually, what I want to do instead of pulling that, because if I pull that, and have this weird stuff, right? And what I want it to do is I want to still have a circle here. So instead, I'm going to, let's just mark these instead. And then we'll just uh, Q mesh those off. So we'll do poly group ball, Q mesh. It's gonna come out like this, but instead of that, we can just go and grab those guys Pull them out here like this. That's what I want. All right, so we got this type of thing. All right, so the question is now can I Yeah, that's okay. Um what I'll use, if I want to make a hole in this that's kind of even, right now, like, this this one isn't quite as even as this one versus all of these. So what I may do is I'll just may use a um, uh, boolean for that. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Okay, so cool, we got that one. And now I have this uh, still intact. And one of the things is be I want to keep that intact because now I can... Let's go back to single edge loop. And then let's start working in symmetry, but in, uh, I think it's Z symmetry. No, Y. Y, I don't know, he's on third and I don't give a darn. No, not Y, it is Z. Yep, that's what I want. All right, so uh, we'll do this, All right? And now I have the same on that side. And now we'll do a Q mesh, but in poly loop. And then get okay, us turn off symmetry real quick. Okay, so I just want to do that. And then I can do it just by clicking once on that side, and that's the same. Cool. Then let's add, let's turn our symmetry back on. We're going to add another one of these guys. Pull that out. Add one more. Pull that out. Add one more. And then push this one in. like that. Easy peasy, right? Okay, cool. Now I can do is, um, now I make this next one. Okay, so let's grab this dude. And let's duplicate him, not delete. And we're going to pull him down here. You 
keep them about the same size. You know, instead of doing this, what we could do is just in, do an insert. Let's just do this. Let's grab um, a brush. We find insert, and we're going to look for steams and gears and stuff. And then we can find... I think there's a, a basic nut in one of these, a so brush insert. This one, here we go, the bolt head. And we'll just go, pushed. cool, now we got a bolt. I like that one a little bit better. Then if we really want to, uh, let's do split unmasked. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so this one, we want to have like a little bend in this. So it's going to be something similar to this. Actually, you know what I could do? Instead, let's just do this. Let's just duplicate that one. So let's grab this dude. Let's duplicate, make our lives a little bit easier here. Okay, grab those, and we'll just extend those up here like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to clear the mask, go back into the modeler brush, and then we're going to do insert multiple edge loops. And then we're just going to go Or what we can do is just use the slice and kind of do it by hand. So what I'm looking for is just some uh, straight geo in here to help with uh, this little bend that I want to put in. Ah, thanks, Henry. Yeah, the Bella, I love the Belisarius call. Um, I was actually thinking about doing a sculpt of him next, but uh, he's 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 pretty crazy. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm I, I'm going to do something from Admech uh, next as our next STL giveaway and sculpt on stream, um, but I don't think I'm going to do him. All right, so now what I could do is just go. Let's grab. All these guys and then I'm just gonna go with my huge uh, let's go wait uh, I need a I need a bigger so if you're at a different size if you know what we could do there's two things we could just make this whole thing smaller or we can go into preferences uh, draw and make your max brush size bigger I didn't know that one for a long time so now I could just and then slightly bend this guy like this. All right, and then let's opposite that, mask that, and then we'll go and just turn this guy like that. Cool, now we got a little bit of a bend in there. Uh, we got a little something or other here. This guy's moving. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go to, and I will just, we'll just mask everything right here and then uh, use the move and just kind of move this back into shape. Like that, that's fine. And then we'll use another Let's brush insert. Grab this dude again. We'll look at the bolt head and we'll just go boppity boop. Like that. Cool. Uh, maybe we'll just mask this off for now. And we'll 
pieces or bendy bend a little bit more cool so that can work uh, and then we need to make one more kind of coming this way as the the claw it's the claw but I think we're getting a little bit too big I, I don't want to make things too crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pizza boxes again. Uh, so turn on the pizza boxes, which is actually transpose all selected subtools. Um, use my select lasso, deselect all these guys. Um, let's go to this one and this one. Make sure that everything is... Okay, cool. Now I just move something around. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just scale this guy down. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. 